When are you gonna, are you gonna do YouTube boxing? You're gonna become the fucking I mean, greatest I'm YouTube boxer. My, Fuck I, Jake I, Paul. I'm gonna fucking you go can, out there. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm going out there to the fights this I'll, weekend. I'll train you. I'll fucking get in a fight if I see Dave Portnoy out there. What? I'm smack fucking him. slapping start him drama. up. Yeah. yeah, I might make a whole fucking scene out you there. You should. Fuck Jeff you start. Dr- yeah, I don't yeah. Know who Jeff Whitty is. Do you should start some like crazy drama when you're there? Why don't you drink? I never drink. I never drink. Yeah, that's right, Dave Portnoy. You're I dead when I get me hands on you. Do you hear me? I never you're drink. Fucking dead. I never drink. Hey, there's something to be said about. Okay, the the commentary was that you were milking it, right? Yeah. <laughs> sure. Milking so what? Some people, I don't know, they just go on podcasts because they have to post weekly and they just, (laughs) they just ramble kind of like we did. That's kind of like what we did on the Scottcast. And it's kind of like what we're doing here. We have no plans. But like, look, it's kind of like a negative connotation on the word milking it. But yeah, of course, like you, you had something happen. You made a docuseries out of it. You made like a creative story. Moo. (laughs) Was that to shut me up? No, no. It's just sometimes the sound bites are too loud. But yeah, I made $9 from the entire series that we spent probably... I mean, that series cost us, I don't know, maybe 200 grand from uh, traveling, flying all these bananas around and getting them hotel rooms. Yeah, but so, let's talk about the Patreon rewards. Patreon was great. And that was not just great for the money. I loved that part of it because, you know, money makes, brings opportunity and it allows me to pay these guys and not stress that I'm, that I'm everything's going to fucking crash and burn. But, um, and it also allows me to make more like bigger budget stuff. Yeah. Which I'm so excited about. It's got my wheels turning. I want to write movies. I want to do so many different projects. You've got like a whole, whole like community in there that you know is just like just there to support you too. Yeah. And also the shit that I needed from the start, which was the messages and the people that could relate to my shit and like my accident helped. And that's the best part about all this because if I kept it a secret my whole life, then it all happened for nothing. For sure. So I better be able to fucking milk it. I better milk it for either milk. If you want to call it helping people milking it, that's one thing. Making money on it. I'm a content creator, a filmmaker. Boxer. Uh, Yeah, a boxer. We need to push that. You want to get me in a fight? Yes. We're going to be the you're gonna be the best fucking YouTube boxer ever. Mm-hmm. You're gonna beat the shit out of Jake Paul. Yeah. And you're gonna have that position. Like, you're gonna, like, cause, like, come on, like, who, what other YouTuber is, like, doing what Jake Paul's doing? You know what I mean? Well, yeah. I mean, everyone's yeah. trying, but. Jake has sacrificed a lot. He does not even make YouTube videos anymore. He's not doing any of this shit. Yeah. He seems like he fucking trains hard. Like, constantly. He trains hard. Yeah, he's, he's a big boy, too. He's 6'2, 6'1, 6'2, like 200 pounds. Is that your I'm, height? I'm, I'm What's your height? One, I'm 165, but I'm fucking sharp. I got razor sharp knuckles. And I'm not, t- I'm not putting fucking pillows on these if I get into it with somebody out there. I'm just lighting them up. It's a fucking bloodbath. Bare knuckle boxing. I've been to Dade County before. I'll go back and see my friends. It's a fucking daycare. What's that? Like a prison? It's where I went to jail uh, in Miami. I mean, I, I would like to have a nice trip, a nice vacation. I need one. It's been a year. It's been well, a bit. Stop trying to start fights with Dave Portnoy. No, no, at the end though, you, you should you should have a very nice weekend. But at the very end, fucking punch some random dude. At the, the very crowd. end. And then they put but the cameras on you. There and I, I'm stuck there. Yeah. You, at you, least I save money on the hotels. That's good because they're very expensive. They're yeah. like 1500 a night. <laughs>